How's it going, everybody? So I'm going to show you the best ways to molly off hunt on CS2 Nuke. This is one of the most difficult positions to nail down and get consistent when you're molotoving it. However, it's one of the most important by far. If you can learn how to consistently do this, it is a fantastic, fantastic piece of utility that's going to help you win a lot of rounds on Nuke. So starting off, I'm going to show you by far the easiest way to do this. Almost all of the other lineups are gonna require you to do some form of run jump throw on a specific timing that even I mess up quite a bit in game. So if you want just a super simple lineup that is somewhat inconsistent in the fact that it doesn't always spread fully, this is it. You go all the way on this far side and you're going to find this vertical bar right here. You can just go kind of to the left side of this little window and go all the way down to where this lines up with the very bottom of this white bar here and just do a simple jump throw. The reason I like this is there's no movement involved and boom, it's gonna hit like this and it's gonna almost fully spread, but it oftentimes leaves gaps just like this. Now, generally, if you're playing against a team that doesn't really know too much about how these spread, they're probably gonna jump off once they start getting burned. Now, if someone's able to recognize that, hey, there's a gap on that molly they're throwing, they may try to abuse it and stand up here and just absolutely gun people down as they run out, which is why I don't like to throw this, but if you just cannot get down, you know, the simple or the more difficult, sorry, movement for mauling off top hut, this is definitely a solid option. So by far the fastest way to do this though, is to run up here and make sure you get alongside this truck. And you're then gonna count one, two, three rungs on the ladder up. And between the third and fourth rung, you're gonna go all the way to the left-hand side and hold that all the way up until you get to the very top of the ladder. Well, you're then gonna do a run jump throw just as you pass this point right here. And as you can see, that landed right on top of Hut and spread down to fully molly it off. And just to show you how fast and easy this is to line up, I'm gonna do it just right on the fly here, just like this. Uh, be sure to keep your knife out until you get to the very top just to be as fast as possible. Big thanks to Shua. I found this from him. I'm gonna link his video down in the description below because it's definitely the reason that I found this. Although I think maybe this was originally found back in the day by Stewie2k. I'm not really sure, but big thanks to Shua for sharing this and letting me see it. All right, so moving on, if you wanna do this consistently every single time to where the Molotov's gonna spread all the way from the far left, to the far right, the best thing that you can do is go on top of this little metal piece right here and line your crosser up with this line in this position here. So you wanna make sure for all of these mollies, you're gonna want all this glass broken. I forgot to mention that in the last one, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is find these two little screws that are visibly separated here. Um, it's pretty easy to spot these because they're very different from all the others. And you're gonna do a run, just a regular run throw just before you fall off of this metal piece, maybe a little bit sooner than you might expect to have to. So probably right when you hit about this point, it's hard to tell, you just have to practice it a little bit and get the feel for it. So I'll show you it right now. That should land right here and spread all the way to cover all this area right here to where there's no gap to where they're gonna have to drop and get completely off of the hut. And finally, I'll show you a great utility set that you can throw to absolutely obliterate the A bomb site with the help of your teammates. You're gonna need one teammate to just drop you a Molotov right here, and you can full execute by yourself on top of this area here. So the first thing I do, I'm gonna throw that exact same molly that I just showed you. I'm gonna go right into this position. I'm gonna aim at the two screws, and I'm going to do a run throw, where that's gonna land all the way down on top of HUT. Right after I do that, I'm gonna go right down into this position, and I'm gonna do a jump throw with a molly right at this position right here. This is kind of divot just above this yellow uh, bar. I'm gonna do a jump throw with that. It's gonna land right on the backside of uh, the silos here. And then right after that, I'm just gonna bomb two flashes in that exact same lineup where they're gonna pop down. Um, they're gonna pop down, go behind the silo. So anyone coming out of hut, well, they're not gonna get blinded by it. And anyone up here in heaven or just up on rafters, well, they're gonna get full blinded. So it's a really good flash to throw. And it's a very chaotic rush because you're gonna have this position mollied off. You're gonna have this position mollied off and all of Rafter's pretty much full blind. So it's a very, very good sight hit that you can throw all by yourself up there. So yeah, I hope all this utility helps you out and lets you win a few extra rounds in your next CS2 Newt game. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help me out in the algorithm. And if you have any suggestions for me, please leave them down in the comments below because I love making videos that you guys wanna see.